Well, if you work anywhere that requires you to be on a computer or use a printer, you might wonder what happens to all that hardware when it comes time for an upgrade. The hard plastic rubbish that comes from computers and other electronics is often put into landfill, but now it's being transformed into usable stock for the booming 3D printing sector that's happening right here in Australia. It's thanks to a new partnership between the University of New South Wales and IT asset management firm Renew IT. So when companies and schools and universities are refreshing their fleet of laptops or uh, technology and data centres, they'll engage in organisations such as us to go in there and collect that old equipment uh, and then on-sell those devices. But as you can imagine, a lot of those devices can't be on-sold. Uh, they're either too old uh, or they're broken and it becomes a waste problem. Joining me for more on this is Professor Vanessa Hajwala, founder and director of the Sustainable Materials Research and Tech Centre at UNSW. Thanks for your time. This would be a lot of plastic, I imagine, that we're pretty familiar with, you know, putting plastic bottles and so on in recycle, but uh, until, what, recently, there must have been a, a lot of this just going straight to landfill? Oh, look, totally. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, people are used to thinking about you know, plastic water bottles, but you start to look at all the plastics that are there in our old IT equipment, you know, like you were seeing in your footage earlier around, you know, computers and printers and so on. That's a different kind of plastic. So we're talking about plastic that could be um, basically ABS, for instance. Um, that is what, you know, is referred to as category seven. And these are typically, mm. of course, um, difficult um, to recycle uh, and hence you know when when they reach the end of life I mean forms of a lot of obsolete equipment um, these kinds of materials will inevitably um, end up in landfills so you know these are high performance materials so I mean we have to do we have to do something a little bit better than just saying yeah. it's just yeah, yeah, call it recycling. Right, recycle. so it's hard to make it's expensive to make so but here's the thing I mean companies, schools, whatever, uh, are generally going to make the best financial decision. And up until this was available, they go, well, landfill's cheaper. It seems to me the crucial element of recycling now in Australia because we don't ship as much off as we used to and countries are banning it is you've got to find a use for it. And you have 3D printers. So how does that all work? It just turns into the stuff you feed into them, basically? Yeah, basically the actual filaments, you know, that you need, you think of these as wires that are, um, that you would go and buy, of course, on, on any, you know, spools, uh, different people sell them, of course, uh, for 3D printing. So think of it as basically feedstock that you would normally think about printing on paper. In this case, if you're doing 3D printing, mm. you need these uh, plastic filaments. Um, but in our case, of course, the difference is we're making it out of 100% uh, recycled plastics. And that really means that for for all of us, we can play our part in terms of looking at our opportunities to use recycled filaments uh, as opposed to buying virgin filaments. Yeah, exactly. So let me ask you this, though. This might be the, the next tricky bit. I'm not sure. Once it's been used or put through the 3D printer, I know you end up with some, um, you know, uh, wastage and then the product itself are either of those recyclable? Can they be turned into feedstock again for 3D printers? Or do we know what to do with that yet? Because there's plenty of plastic being created by that process. Well, exactly, exactly. Which is why when you think about the research that we do at the Smart Centre at UNSW, I mean, this is really important for us to talk about solutions in a holistic manner. So it's not just about saying, well, I've solved the problem um, in the one pass, so I'm good to go. It's about really looking at how materials are going to continue to come back and flow back into our ecosystem. And so for us, whether someone's used it for manufacturing, for prototyping, um, you know, school projects and so on, we know that it's inevitable that we will always have these kinds of materials in our ecosystem. Mm. How to actually bring that back into remanufacturing is demonstrating that the alignment between recycling and manufacturing and remanufacturing, we have to keep pursuing that. Of course, it's important to ask the question, are we going to create filaments of the right quality? And, and indeed, that's the kind of research and technological advancement yeah. and achievement that we're doing. Look, it's really affordable, it's strong, that's why plastic caught on, but yeah, more of these solutions are needed, aren't they, as they as it's used so uh, much in uh, our economy and around our world. Yeah. Uh, Professor, appreciate your, your, appreciate your time today, thank you. Thank you, thanks for having me.